Igbo community in Canada says police have charged Amaka Sumberger to court over threats, ask Nigerians to disregard other false news. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for like, stopping by. If you are just joining us, I beg, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Igbo communities in Canada has warned against circulation of false updates on the case of the Nigerian woman living in the Canada Amaka patient, some buggers, alleged threats and call for mass poisoning of Yoruba and Bini people. The Igbo community in a statement issued by uh, Joseph Eze on Monday advise Igbos in Canada and beyond to desist from any form of inflammatory uh, comments and interactions that could escalate the matter as the Canadian authorities had taken over the case and investigation was going on. Eze in the statement also confirmed that Amaka was arrested by the Toronto Police Service on Sunday for questioning, but was also released the same day while the case was already in court. The statement read, the Igbo community in Toronto has been closely monitoring the development surrounding the allegations of threats made by a, a Toronto-based woman against specific members of the Nigerian community. The Igbo Union is in touch with Amaka and has heard a side of the story. We are aware that misinformation and false updates are circulating through various media channels. The Igbo Union will provide reliable updates as the situation unfolds. We have already maintained a peaceful relationship with all groups within the Nigerian community here. Additionally, we are in contact with relevant parties involved in this case and and have advised members of community of our community to remain calm and avoid any interactions that could escalate the situation we will continue to monitor the situation and keep you informed with any significant development Sarah Reporters has reported that the Canadian police arrested a Maka patient on Sunday for threatening to poison Yoruba and Bini people in the viral video. Her arrest was announced in a press statement issued by the Toronto police on their website, revealing that the suspect will be arraigned in court on Monday. Record that in the viral video, Amaka, who was noted as living in, in Canada, said he would begin to poison the food and water of Nigerians immediately after she got to her place of work. Hours after the threats went viral, the chairman, Nigerian Diaspora Commission, Abeke Dabiri, uh, petitioned Honorable Patrick Brown, mayor of Branton, Canada regarding the threat to kill Yorubas and Bini people. Speaking in Pidgin language, Amaka Sam Samberger said, Record me very, very well. It is time to start poisoning the Yorubas and the Benins. Put poison in all your fruits at work. Put poison in all your water so that you all will start dying one by one. You people will not die one by one. You people will not die one by one. You people will all fall sick for a long time. I will put otapia right poison inside your waters and food. You people will never get away. This kind of hatred I have for you people will last forever in all your fruit. I will put otapia otapia as others at the meeting reminded. Uh, are of other poisons, including eat and die, sniper, and all that. I will put them in all your fruit if I go to work tomorrow. I will put it in Yoruba people's food. Go and tell the government that I am in Canada. Okay, hurry up, go fast. And she added, 
announcing an arrest, the Canadian police said, this, invest the, this investigation is being uh, treated, treated, uh, treated as a suspected hate-motivated offense uh, with full promotion of hatred and advocating genocide, uh, hate propaganda, that is hate speech, offenses which requires the attorney general consent to lay charges. These charges are often laid at a later time. So this is the latest development for now. In other words, this case is now sub uh, judice. What it all means is that the case must no longer be discussed publicly, including the public media. In most places, the violation of this rule would mean a contempt of the court. Okay, so that is just it. Make a drop off for you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye.